people, what's happening? This is not a fishing video, this is um, an experiment video. Now, it's not going to be a very long one. Um, if any of you have seen my sorting black lug um, video, um, you'll know I like to try and figure out new ways. I know sorting the lug is not a new way, um, but it's a way of preserving it. There wasn't many videos on YouTube about doing it, if any, that I could find at the time. Now there's lots, I think. But Right, so anyway, this is the idea I've had. It involves my vacuum packer, which you've seen before that I bought for the crabs. Um, vacuum roll. You can get these on Amazon, wherever you want to get them. Um, this was 30 quid, this one-ish. I think, yeah, 28, 30 quid with five or, five or ten bags. But I bought these rolls, which are something like 10 metres long. All you do, you just cut them down to size, um, and then sort of vacuum up one end. I'll show you anyway. So, if I go to the fridge, hang on. Oh, so the idea of that is, it's now Monday. These these blacks here, there's ten in this wrap, and there's also another hundred and forty out of shot so that is that is a fresh black when you chuck it down you can't really see but they tense up so dead dead they've had the gut squeezed out so basically now well they're decomposing if you like they are deteriorating by the day now that's caused by the air oxidization if you like um, a bit like metal rusting so I thought to myself Instead of, I don't want to freeze them, and I don't want to sort them. I want them fresh, if I can. If I possibly can keep them fresh without freezing, without sorting them. Um, today, while I was at work, I was having a little, having a little look at the weather forecast for the coming week. To, like I said, today's Monday. On, um, I think Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, Wednesday, Thursday, we got some southwesterly winds. Therefore, the water on the south coast should colour up. Um, should colour up a little bit. Friday, it's turning. Turning a bit northerly halfway through the day, which means it's going to start clearing out again. So my only chance really to get there is probably going to be Saturday. So the idea is I am going to fish Worthing Pier slash Shoreham on the south coast, the other side of Brighton, sometime Saturday. Um, and like I say, I want to take I want to take blacks if I can as they are, because I won't be able to pump any because the tides are too small for me to get down there and pump any. Um, so yeah, so here is another bucket full. Each one of these wraps in here. That is a score. So there's 20 worms in there, there's 20 worms in that one, and there's 20 worms, and so on and so on and so on. So my plan is to vacuum pack them as they are and put them back in the fridge. Now, it works for this piece of rump steak. This bit of steak is vacuum packed onto a tray and left out in the air, out in the open, this would rot. Um, but because it's vacuum packed and it's sealed, it's, it's kept in the fridge, it will it will make it last another, however long it lasts for, till the 30th of September, which is next week. And this must probably have been in the fridge at least a week. Now, I know it's not black lug, but black lug normally, once you've squeezed them out, these were done. I pumped these Saturday night. It's now Monday. And you can see what they're like. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Two days, really. They've been, 48 hours they've been in the fridge. They'll probably go another two days. After that, they'll start getting sticky um, and they'll start being a bit of a pain to get out of the paper and they'll start being a bit of a mess. If I can prolong their life by putting them in this and putting them back in the fridge and keeping the air off of them for another two or three days, for me, it's worth doing. If you can make your bait last another three, four days, maybe, at a push, by doing this, it could massively, massively help. So... As I said, it's an experiment. And I'm not going to do a Blue Peter and go, here's some I prepared earlier because this is this is it. This is it. It'll be all right on the night type thing. Um, the first time I'm going to open these is going to be when I get to my fishing destination on Saturday. So let me just show you the crack, all right? So this is my roll of, um, this is my roll of, what do I call it? And then all I do, so if I roughly measure, you need a bit of play. You need a little bit of play so you can um, vacuum it up. So if I roughly measure that, I want a bit of room. These are my pink scissors from my lovely daughter, Smiggle. Happy days. So all I do is cut that. There is a blade on the back of the uh, 
on the back of the backpacker, but it's a bit crap, if I'm honest. And so all you do, the vacuum pack up, you lift up, you probably, you must have seen it before. That goes in there like that. Clip and clip, push the seal button, and it takes a second to start. There you go. It makes the funny noise. You pop the button, and there you have it. It's now sealed. And then all I'm going to do is, I would imagine, all right, I'm going to take all of these blacks because I'm hoping Mr. West is going to come so he can talk to you a little bit more about his hooks. I reckon if I put one score in that side and another score in that side, not only is that a session, two score lug is an average session, I would say, but they fit, two score lug fits in a pack, half decent. And it's exactly the same again. All you do is you put that on the inside of there, clip it down, and this time you vacuum, and it just sucks all the air out of it. And it will squash the absolute gonads out of it. It's taking its time, but it's squashing it. Cool, it is squashing it. Jesus. Don't normally take this long. There you go. And then push seal. Now this must this might be a total waste of time guys, but we will find out. We will find out Saturday. And then now it's sealed. That is solid. That is vacuum packed lug worm. Fresh vacuum packed lug worm. Um let me uh just chuck in another one. I'll just do it one more time. So no, not vacuum, it's here, stop, seal. Um, for anyone that goes out and clicks their own bait, you should get in a vacuum for 30 quid. I mean, the score four, score a lug, it's, I think it's well, well worth doing it. Of course, but also when the crab come in, um, you, they're there for the crab as well. Um, and my crab that I'm using now, even still, that are vacuum packed, are just top drawer. They are absolutely fantastic. These rolls are, I think, I think I paid eight quid for 20 meters of it. Which, again, it, it all come off Amazon because it's just easy, isn't it? It's easy to get it online. Get delivered to my house because I've got Amazon Prime. Um, it gets delivered to my house the next day. Even even sometimes, if you order it early enough in the morning, things on Amazon Prime, they come the same day. It's crazy. Um, just one, two, score. Um, yeah, I'm hoping this kind of works. Like I say, I'm not saying this is going to make them last forever without freezing them. I just want an extra couple of days. That's all I need. An extra couple of days. And then, that's that. They look so good in there, wrapped up in scores. And then now I'm going to squash just gonads out of it. Um... Oh, I've just messed right up there. Did anyone see what I've done? Oh dear. I push seal. But that is not a problem. Because all you do is cut that off. I didn't vacuum it before I sealed it. So if I just cut that seal off. Hopefully I've still got enough. Yeah, there's enough. Get that on there. Vacuum button first. Vacuum it. I'm loving these pink scissors. It's not doing too well here because I think it's a bit too short. It is going just very slowly. Got a leak. Now it's going a bit quicker. Look at what it does to him, that's crazy. Oh, but to be fair, when I first got it, the first thing I put in it was crab, and I was amazed at what it done to the crab. Absolutely amazed. Right, and that's it. I'll tell you what we do. 
If I chuck these in one, I'll make up a small one and I'll chuck this wrap of ten in, because this was odd, I didn't wrap it in a score. I'll vacuum it, I'll seal it, and then I'll cut it open and see how bad it squashed the worms. So that's another pack, look at that. That is a worm. Look at that. That's crazy, that's a worm. Well, at least it's not mullering the worms, which is what we wanted. Well, I'll tell you what, let's do what I just said. Let's knock up a small one quick. If I'm tight with this and vacuum it, I might be able to use it for a, for a double shot. So, quickly seal that. So now you can see these worms. They're nice worm. They're not wrecked, they're not mullered. They're in half decent condition still. Let's see what they're like when we put them in a vacuum packer and squash them and then we get them back out again. There's loads of them. If I just do that, if I'm tight with it, put it on there, we use it again. Right, so vacuum that. If this works out right, it, it'd be a game changer. Yeah, I think it'd be the way to go every time I wrap black lug, I'm going to vacuum pack them because they'll get, if, instead of getting five days out of them, if I get nine days out of them, it's got to be done. It's got to be done. So they are, they are squashed, solid, in the bag. You can see the shape of the worm. So it's not really not squashed the worm. Let's have a look. So you can, let's say, they've been squashed. Let's cut it open and check it out. Have I opened it? Have I opened it? No, I haven't opened it. Make sure the worms are still in good nick. Hmm, yeah, they've been squashed. They've definitely been squashed. But the work, yeah, no, that's fine. The way to test it is your tense is up, which he's doing. He's also doing, you can't see because I didn't do it in camera probably. Do you know what? That'd be brand new, that. That will be brand new. Right. Well, I'm going to leave you to it. I'm going to finish wrapping my worms. Well, vacuum packing my worms. You don't need to see me doing them all. Because it will get a bit boring. But obviously, I will show you the outcome of this video on Saturday when I am fishing. Whether it be on Worthing Pier or Shoreham. I'll be somewhere on the south coast and it will be a cod hunt. I know, I know they're getting boring because I'll never catch a cod when I say I'm going cod fishing. But... Hold on, I've got a mistake away. Um, but yeah, I will. I am going to get a cod this year and I'm not going to Liverpool to get one. I have determined to get one from the south coast or south east coast. Oh, I might, Clapton might not be out of bounds in that. I might try Clapton as well this year, doing a bit up the east coast in Essex. Um, so if there's any lads up there that um, fancy sharing some tips, helping a fellow angler out. Oh, to be fair, I have caught a couple of cod in Clapton before, but they were very fluky fish. I went up there one night on the off chance. Um, someone said that you need to use crab up there because crab are key. I managed to fluke myself and get hold of some, some crab, some fresh peelers in um, November. Um, yeah, shut up there. I had fresh peelers and frozen blacks. First chuck, I had a white in and I thought, oh no, this is going to be it for the rest of the night. But um, back then... This was about four or five years ago. The time to fish Clacton and then beaches up there, um, Frinton and all that were two hours after I water. And that's when the fish used to show. Well, I got there at low tide and fished it all the way up. Um, it was a long old day, but I did get a cod. As soon as the two hour window come, I had one on crab and one on frozen black, so I was buzzing. But yeah, that could be a shout this year. That is... Another solid wrap. Right, guys. Oh, I've got one score left and the 10. So I will do them and then I'll go and get these all back in the fridge and pray to God they last until Saturday. 
Um, in fact, I will have to open. I will have to open some before I go because I can't drive all the way to the south coast. Um, get there and then realise all my bait is rotten, which there's a chance it could be. So I will open a packet before I go, um, and then but obviously I'll wait. I'll show you the results when I get there. Just make sure it's focusing. What right, guys? In a bit. We made it, here we are. A few days later, four or five days later, we are on the end of Worthing Pier. Roddy set up, quite a few people here already, um, with Westy, um, Sea Glow Tackle. Um, the moment of truth is now. Rig wise, we are putting these blacks on. Is um, I've opened the packet and I've got a packet out, but I haven't looked at them yet. Rig wise, we have got a pulley dropper, 6 ounce lead, so it's, um, a um, 6 ounce lead, and the new Sea Glow 5 hooks which um, you'll see on a later video probably a bit more in detail so I've opened the vat, oh nearly lost my scissors I've opened the vat pack smelling them, smelling them and feeling them I'm not too optimistic that they've came out how I was hoping they was going to come out to be honest I was hoping they was going to come out as if I've just finished pumping them oh no I don't, by the smell I don't I'm not sure boys, not sure oh I think this could have been a total waste of time and I might be here fishing with pants bait Oh, they're a bit green. Oh dear. Oh dear. Um. No, they're just. No, they haven't worked. They are. They are rotten. They just look like they're a week old blacks. To be fair, they look like they've been frozen. If it ever focuses. Oh, I've got to get a GoPro sorted out. Bloody hell. They look like they've been frozen. So, oh come on. So now we know. See that? If oh, I don't know why it won't focus. Now we know that vat packing doesn't work. Well, it's not focusing, guys, because it's being a twat. Um, now we know that vat packing doesn't work as we thought it would. But. That's all I've got. So we're gonna have to use them. It's not all I've got as a lot. I have been and bought some squid because I do I do plan on using some squid today. Anyway, that is gonna be the end of this video. Um to find out how we got on tonight for the cod fishing, um that video will probably be going up in a couple of days. So thanks again for watching guys and uh yeah, it's a shame about that. But um at least everyone knows how to vat pack luck. In a bit. <laughs>